Ah, it's me, I believe. <laughs> yeah, it's a little pond. Daffodils still haven't come out here. See? Not yet flowers. <laughs> anyway, I was a bit behind, as am I. So it is uh, the annual uh, Earth Day <laughs> event. And uh, so, yeah, I'll do my little civic bit. Um, but it's sort of a good subject for, uh, you know, not just local interest kind of a subject. Uh, just a, a good, uh, a <coughs> useful to the purpose of uh, just explaining how dysfunctional human beings are and how uh, they, they just can't do anything. They really are <laughs> it's just a, such a stupid animal. Dumb monkeys. Um, so anyway, yeah, so we have this environmental problem here. Ow! Ow. Prigger bushes. Uh, yes, that everything's turning into, you know, camel food. Um, <coughs> so, uh, yeah, most of the environmental problem here is these barberry bushes and uh, invasive bushes. But they didn't really invade. Uh, the domestic uh, uh, foliage uh, has been annihilated by these deer menaces, you know, who have also um, caused us great harm in terms of destroying crops and increasing insurance rates on cars and uh, destroying all kinds of, nobody can, it's a garden state and you, you can't have a garden unless you put up a security system. <laughs> you know, and uh, huge expense. So, uh, and the problem just hasn't been fixed. This small problem of too many deer. So, yeah, you just knock the population back down to what it was in 1970, and you have 10 years of good living. But instead of doing the, that rational thing, they gave the problem to the recreational hunters. And the recreational hunters obviously haven't fixed the problem. So it is, in fact, I would, I would argue, it is the most heavily subsidized human recreation in North America, <laughs> in America, is hunting. Yeah, the stalking, torturing, maiming, uh, <laughs> injuring, harming of sentient creatures is the most subsidized human activity in America. I mean, per hour, it costs society thousands of dollars <laughs> yeah, to make psychotic lunatics happy. And they are psychotic. They're fire, you know, firemen and, and, and cops, 90% of them, 85%. Uh, if they're not firemen and cops, they're firemen and cop wannabes who got caught beating their wife. And so, you know, they want to be a cop or a fireman, but they can't because, yeah, they got caught beating their wife or most of their kids. So these are the people we're subsidizing and ruining the natural environment to do so. And you're just saying, no, give it, no, there's no way, give me that stupid. No, come on, come on, human beings are cool. There's no way they could be that stupid. Yeah, they're that stupid. So, I mean, you can't even have a conversation about anything in that context. I mean, alien invaders uh, coming here and Feeding on earthlings? <laughs> yeah, who could care? Because earthlings are assholes if this is what they do. I mean, if they can't, this is a tiny problem. Really, the decision, shall we reduce deer populations substantially to preserve the integrity and beauty of the environment? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, why? Because the hunters don't want it that way. That are fat and uh, lazy, and uh, you know they want it to be easy to go hunting. I mean, it's this stupid. It is. I, I, I'm living on a planet that can't even fix little tiny problem. So here we are with all this global warming stuff, which is a problem. I mean, that's caused this. You know, big tree fall downy. Yeah, it's all big, big tree folly downy. Lots of that from global warming. But what really destroyed this environment in terms of killed all the natural plants, the thing I'm going out now, I'm going to go out and attack the invaders, okay, with an axe. Uh, 
so we can plant real plants, <laughs> you know, real native plants in little cages. <laughs> yeah, so we'll put little native plants in cages and uh, kill the invaders. That problem has nothing to do with global warming, nothing to do with anything but, but stupid, just incredibly dumb uh, social engineering, lack thereof. Uh, social engineering by political hacks and retards. Yes, I'm talking about you, town councils. <laughs> yeah, retard. Just stupid bastards who think they know something and haven't really thought about anything for more than five minutes in their whole life. But they want to have power. And they want to control things. And yet they don't have any... They don't take any responsibility for their dismal and colossal failure to do so. They fix nothing. Okay, this pathway is better than it was five years ago, <laughs> but they fix nothing significant. Nothing that takes a, a real brain. Uh, yeah, so that's sort of the subject. It's sort of a subject. It's just why have we failed so dismally uh, to migrate to intelligent governance. And instead we just get it's just getting worse and worse. We are glorifying liars, preposterous liars. I mean George Bush was an insanely preposterous liar and people re-elected him. Uh, Hillary Clinton has been caught lying. <laughs> yeah. I could compare it to things I've done many, many times, but whatever. Yes, she's done. She's lied more than I have. Blank, blank. Uh, incredible liar. There's no chance somebody who's been caught lying so many times should possibly, capably be, be running the country. It's just not. It shouldn't even be a possibility. And why is it? Because people have all these vested self-interests. They all want their cut. They all want to. They want excessive power to their proportion in population. They want to cheat the argument, essentially. The teachers want to pretend they're not archaic, silly people. Uh, you know, the public workers want to pretend <laughs> they're not uh, blackmailing, extorting, lazy bastards. Uh, you know, all these subgroups uh, you know, wish to create cabals of incompetent assholery that will rule the rest of us. Um, and they all want to keep their cheats. And that's all. They're all afraid of a fair fight. They're all afraid of fair policy. It's okay for the blacksmith to go extinct, but not the revered high school teacher. <laughs> no. It's just hypocrisy and duplicity all the way down. Uh, it's just the nature, apparently, of the human beast. And even though we've known that for a long time, people still take no account for it. Because again, it's just about them. It's about what's, what's in it for me. It should be the motto. They should write that on our damn fucking money. What's in it for me? I mean, God, God we trust is also ludicrous, but if you want to really be perfectly accurate, <laughs> yeah, in fan fantasy characters we trust are what's in it for me. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it's a... Human beings are just unprincipled, and they just have a, a preposterously and insanely exaggerated perception of their own... Com uh, their own uh, competence. Just insane. No humility, no sense of obligation to do things right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know these are trite cliches, but it did affect my brain when people said things, you know, do it right the first time. Or, uh, if you're not going to do it right, don't do it at all. <laughs> yeah, you know. Measure twice, cut once. Little, little tritheisms. Uh, but they, you know, when they rolled around your brain, you said, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, fix the deer problem one season, 
and then you don't have to do anything about it for 15. Yeah. So, and you only kill one-fifth the number of deer. Gee, that's so much smarter. Yeah, one-fifth, one-tenth the number of horrible slaughtered animals, and the environment is saved. Gee, that sounds like it's an all-win. Why are we doing it all fail? Because people are beneath <laughs> sledgehammering. They're, they're beliefs, but beneath steamrollering for this. It's because they revere insanity. Cops and firemen are insane. People who want to shoot little furry creatures for the fun of it are insane. But I guess they run to those icons to defend their own insanity. If I can make them seem sane, then I won't seem near as crazy. Maybe that's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I make Mangal a king, then I can do almost anything. It'll be okay. I can be a colossal failure. And compared to the king, I'll be so cool. Yeah. It's got to be something like that. It's just dismal, horrible, awful, and it is, it's just a terrible world to live in, terrible people. Uh, having a feel like shit day, of course. <laughs> uh, who, who knows? Hopefully that'll improve. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I don't have Lyme again. I've been really careful. But that's the other thing, Lyme disease alone. That alone, Lyme disease alone would be reason to do something about this deer problem. And yet they just let the sickness and <laughs> deprivation of quality of life roll. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. That's my commentary. <laughs> so I guess that's enough. Let's see, is there more crap I could say about how stupid people are? You can really look, just look at it here, see? Every bush. Barberry, 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 barberry. Nothing else grows. That's it. No young trees. No anything. Just barberry bushes. <laughs> See, once this, uh, this oak is gone, it'll be the last of the oaks here. Oh, that really is in shitty shape. That is a big fucker of a tree. <laughs> yeah, and it's almost dead. Oh, great. I have to walk under that tree of Damocles. So anyway, the oak trees have killed an awful lot of people. It's funny. I think it's the number one murdering tree, the grand and mighty oak. <laughs> yeah. Smart trees, I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, smart enough to know humans are up to no good. They can do no good. Uh, they are, they're just crappy. So, yeah, so even me doing this is, you know, it's just one of those things you do to Try to feel human. Oh, there, wrong word to use. Try to feel better than human. Feel a little better about the world you live in. Uh, you know, try to do something as a, a group of people. Uh, be part of something uh, admirable and decent. But the purpose is just so, <laughs> so futile. I mean, we're going to go smash out point zero 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 one percent of the invasive plants in town and it will do no good really it will improve just about nothing but it does make you feel like something yeah, it's something. 
in a world that provides very little of anything to ever feel good about. Uh, no. It's just, it's tragic that this is, this is it for our civilization. I can't, can't, won't, won't do better than this. People won't do better than this. Clearly. I mean, it goes back, I can go back to the whole Vietnam thing and landing on the moon and how as soon as we did it, you know, human beings just, you know, once the war ended and the self-interest was gone, everybody just said, fuck you, I'm going to the disco. Uh, no depth of character in the human organism. All the sad songs and you know, all the hopeful crap and all the folksy doxy and all the you know, big talk about being something better than greedy shitheads. And they all just got in line for their bag of, you know, greedy uh, patronage and pork. <laughs> Give me a piece of public pork. Give me my share of the goodies. Uh, yeah, fuck the environment. <laughs> There's hunters to make happy. Can't save the environment. It'll, it'll, it'll put a frowny face on hunters. <laughs> yeah. What do they do without their three thousand <laughs> dollar, you know, uh, Sunday afternoon adventure? Oh, this would be so tragic if they were to be denied the fun, fun, fun. Getting close to, to event territory. Mr. No Muffler has showed up in his really crappy Humvee. <laughs> yeah. I guess I shouldn't ridicule this guy until I know who it is. Might be a friend rather than a foe. But probably not. Probably an asshole. Anyway, getting closer. Do, 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 do. Very lovely day. So that's another reason to get out, just for the sake of the lovely dayness of it all. Usually, well, I mean, eight out of the last ten years, it has been the most miserable weather. <laughs> you know, it rain, you know, 35 degrees. Uh, just, yuck. And I think this is the first, this is the first day in a long time it's been this, uh, you know, um, I mean, it's nine o'clock in the morning and it's, you know, it's gotta be 65 degrees and really quite nice. So anyway, not too many showy uppies yet. <laughs> Thin, but they usually roll in an hour late. So everything looks good. Let's see if I can get some free apples out of the deal. See, that'll be my take. I just come for the free apple. Yeah. And why not? And so forth. And, yeah. Oh, there's another car creep up behind me. Yeah. People. Dog people come in. On the table. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. He's here. <laughs> How you doing? Once again. Yes, welcome. 